Hey, this is Stacy from Let's Cook, y'all. Welcome back to our channel. We are back for a new week of What's for Dinner. We've got some really easy meals for you guys this week. I've been a little bit under the weather, but we've still got to eat. These are some real life, easy menu ideas. I hope they give you some ideas for quick meals at your house. As I've been doing lately, the homemade meals are first. And at the end of the video, be sure to stick around for our meals out. In a previous What's for Dinner a few weeks ago, I showed you guys a meal where I had some sweet potatoes and onions that I cooked in the air fryer and we had with some sausage that Tim grilled outside. We enjoyed that so much that I, we wanted to have it again. I had some zucchini and yellow squash in my produce drawer that needed using up along with some onion. I diced those up pretty thickly and seasoned them with salt and pepper and the 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's. I added those to my air fryer basket that I'd sprayed with olive oil spray. I cooked those first at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes before I added a rope of Hillshire Farms beef smoked sausage. I set that for another four minutes, which turned out to be not quite enough time. Also in my produce drawer, I had some leftover spinach that I cut up and just sauteed on the skillet with olive oil salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic. So tonight is a clean out the produce drawer and use some stuff from the pantry and freezer. Package of Hillshire Farm sausage cooked with two kinds of squash and onion in the air fryer. A big everything but the kitchen sink salad and the last of the spinach that I bought to make my farro dish. So I'll show you a picture of our plates. That's what's for dinner tonight. Someone asked recently in a comment how we were liking our food saver. This is a little food saver container of a half a pound of ground turkey. We are really enjoying it. I like being able to keep meat in smaller portions easily. I had some leftover rice and a can of pinto beans from the pantry. So if you hadn't figured it out, this is Mexican night. Took some leftover brown rice and toasted it up in a little bit of olive oil in a skillet. I added some extra seasoning, some taco seasoning and some cumin and then some salsa, thanks to a tip from a viewer. So we were both wanting some Mexican and I bought some corn chips thinking I would do nachos, but the healthy side of me won out, so we're gonna have a big taco salad. I've got some turkey meat I browned, some pinto beans, and I made that quick Mexican rice. Thank you to Deborah for the tip on using the salsa. I think that's gonna work a lot better than what I've done in the past, which was tomato sauce for tomato paste. And we've got our plates ready and I'll show them I'll show you our plates when we're finished. We're gonna load them up with chips, guacamole, sour cream, olives, taco sauce, cheese. Tim will have jalapenos. I cut up an avocado. I made Tim his own dressing. It's his spicier salsa mixed with sour cream. I made my dressing, which is using my homemade ranch seasoning mix that I mixed with some mayonnaise, a little bit of milk. To make it a Mexican flavor, I added some lime juice and cumin. So taco salads are what's for dinner tonight. Gracias. Gracias. De nada. What are you doing? <laughs> Getting you to film. And I'll be I'm cutting it. Trying to that. beautify my salad. It can't be, can't improve on perfection. Oh, oh yeah. There's <laughs> some missing underneath all there. The, yeah, all them jalapenos down up under there. It's a pantry meal, clean out the freezer kind of night. Won't clean them all out, but maybe we'll make a little dent, chip, keep chipping away. So all from the freezer, we've got General Tso's chicken. I put most of it in there with the sauce, which is a little too spicy for me. I pulled me out a little and tossed it with some of this sweet hot chili sauce. I did the crab rangoons in the air fryer. I did the egg rolls in the air fryer. I did the edamame in the microwave and some white rice in the rice cooker. We'll put our plates together and show you guys our Chinese dinner tonight. Spicy. It is too spicy for me. That's what's for dinner tonight. Tim's with the general so, and mine with the chicken with the sweet chili sauce on it, crab rangoon, egg roll, and edamame. 
Hadn't been to the Chinese restaurant probably since December, so I'm very excited. Mine's like General So. It is. It's spicy. Yours is like Lieutenant So. <laughs> Mine's Corporal So. Is yours just So So? Mine's So. Oh, you're funny. Oh, mine's So So. That's what's for dinner tonight. It totally defeats the purpose to empty my box of General So's chicken from Sam's Club and turn around and repurchase it, but that's what I did. This is a product we've used several times and Tim really likes. It's a little spicy for me, but I just take the, as you saw in, the, in this last clip, I just take it and toss it with sweet hot chili sauce. There's a really good deal, at least for me, in Ibotta, if you use the Ibotta app. And if this one is available for you, I was able to save $2.25 on this box from Sam's. There's two large bags in this box and we ended up getting the entire thing with the Sam with the Abata rebate, we got the entire thing for $6.73 plus tax at Sam's and we will get at least six or eight meals out of it. So this is a, a great deal for us. If you've watched the last couple of What's For Dinner videos, you'll notice a lot of potatoes. Our Kroger has been having what is for us a good price on bags of russet potatoes lately. So I've been doing what I can, potato soup, uh, potato logs or Tim's favorite. I've decided that the best way to cook potatoes in an air fryer is to cut them up at least 30 minutes ahead of time and soak them in cold water, then rinse them well and dry them off and then put the seasonings on them. So I did that again this week to make Cajun potato logs. I realized in all of the times we've shown uh, hamburgers on our channel, we've never showed you how Tim makes them up. He uses Weber seasoning. The current one he's got in the cabinet is a smoky mesquite. He used to add a lot of seasonings and breadcrumbs and things, and now he's just very pure and plain. He just adds the seasoning, mix them up, makes them extremely thin. So Tim grilled some burgers outside for us. I did some potato logs in the air fryer. I made a simple coleslaw. I actually have three coleslaws. This is the easiest one. How are your potato logs? They're good. Good. Uh, I'll leave links. There. I'll leave links to the creamy slaw that I make and the Asian crunchy slaw. This is the really easy one. It just has oil, vinegar. I'm distracted by his potatoes. What was that? Oil, red or white wine vinegar, some salt, pepper, a pinch of sugar, and some dry mustard powder. He's got a beef burger. I'm trying to be good. I've got a salmon burger just out of a box of frozen ones from Kroger. So burgers, fries, and slaw is what's for dinner tonight. It is leftover night around here. Tim has heated up his pizza from Biagi's in the air fryer. We've decided that pizza in the air fryer is just about as good as fresh hot pizza. He's taken his hummus and beefed it up with olive oil and Hungarian paprika. Mm -hmm. Got carrots and hummus on the side. And since we dip our bread and Biagi's in olive oil and Parmesan, he replicated that for his pizza crust. Since he's got the rest of his pizza, I'm gonna have avocado toast. I did finally remember to do my bagel, everything but the bagel seasoning on top. Some fruit, I may get some chips and some yogurt. I had never seen this flavor before at Walmart, so I got it to try because I love cookie butter. So this is Oikos with Speculus, Speculus cookie butter. Leftovers and avocado toast is what's for dinner tonight. Last Sunday after church, we went out with members of our big Sunday school group. This week, someone picked Biagi's, which was a great choice. We were a little different. Tim picked a Supreme Pizza, which he loved, and you've already seen the leftovers for that. I got a Caesar salad with grilled shrimp, which was delicious. I ate all of mine. I had no leftovers. Most everybody around us got pasta in some form. We had a great meal out. One day this week, I went out for lunch with friends to a new place that Tim and I have been wanting to try. It's a rotisserie grill and bar, so obviously there's a lot of meat on the menu. My friend Kathy that sat next to me got some crab cakes. She said they were delicious. There was a lot of ladies who enjoyed the food. My friend Linda did try the rotisserie chicken with some broccoli and grits. She said were delicious. My friend Debbie got a panini and Caesar salad, and so did my friend Jerry. And when mine finally came, I got the veggie or portobello mushroom panini with Caesar salad, and mine was delicious. They had brought my salad first, so I ended up with two salads, but it was delicious. Thanks so much for stopping by our channel. 
Have a wonderful and truly blessed day, y'all. See you in the next video.